Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tracy and this is a girl with plans. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I created and set up my travel memory keeping slash travel journal. So in addition to my love for planning, I also love to travel. It is one of my passions. I love experiencing different cultures. I feel like it's a great way to not only learn learn about the world and other people in the world, it's also a great way to like learn about yourself. So it's definitely one of my passions in life. I definitely have not traveled as much as I want. And especially in the last few years, I have not really traveled much at all. Now, when I do travel, I take a lot of pictures. <laughs> and what I do is I actually put them in photo books. I do all this on the computer, like either through like Photo Book America or Snapfish. And I put all the photos together and like kind of do like a faux scrapbooking type thing. And then they print it and send it to me. It's a great, it's actually very economical too. It's a great way to like store all of your travel memories. And I think it's great coffee, <laughs> like coffee table books. Um, so that's what I do for a lot of my trips. But the one thing I don't, I'm not very good at is like keeping written records of my trips. Um, I do sometimes journal about my trips when I'm there. Um, this is a new book, so there's nothing in it yet, but I have like kind of like books this size, usually soft um, books that I kind of throw in my backpack and I'll write down like if we take an excursion like who the guide was some of the stuff we see and typically I do that so when I do my photo books I can like jot down um, kind of like little headings and things like that but I really want to get better about like capturing my complete trip in words in addition to the photos that I have so that's one reason why I decided to do this travel journal memory keeper and before i get started i do want to say that even if you are not an avid traveler and you don't want to do a travel book this may give you ideas of other types of books that you can create like if you are a big time crafter um sewing things like that you can kind of do some of this stuff um or kind of set up your own notebooks like these are great things to do to kind of just set up kind of your own memory keeping or logs or things of that nature so this may give you ideas that are not even related to traveling okay i've talked enough let's go ahead and get started <laughs> all right so what i decided to use is i use a happy notes notebook as the cover this will probably be changed in the future. I just didn't really want to invest in anything right now. And I just write for the time being, I have um, just regular medium disc on it. I may change that. So I went on Etsy and bought some dashboard art. And then I went ahead and printed this myself on cardstock. And then I um, added a label that I made on clear sticker paper that just says Tracy's Travels. I thought this was a cute and it was like a great way to open it just because this is a notebook. It didn't come with the hello this planner belongs to. So this is kind of my intro page. <laughs> and then that brings us to my dividers. I wanted to make my own dividers and I bought this really cute scrapbook pad from Michaels. Um, it says Born to Travel. There is not, as you can see on the pictures, there isn't too many travel related scrapbook pages, but they're still gorgeous. So what I did is I did double sided. So I have this on one side and this on the other. Um, and then I just taped them together with just glue tape. Um, just to kind of tell you how I did it really quick. All I did was pulled out let me pull a divider out so like this is a regular happy planner divider i literally just flipped i found one that was i probably used this one that had the tab in the place i wanted it and literally just traced it and then i used a my paper cutter and just cut up to here and then cut this straight over and then i just took scissors and hand cut that so that's what I did. And then, like I said, I just take two together. I think it's a great <laughs> thing to do, especially if you have scrapbook paper. And because I did two, these, these are fairly thick. These aren't going to go anywhere. 
Um, this right here is just thicker paper. I think it's 32 pound paper that I purchased. And I literally just cut it down to size and I created another label for travel log. And then I have this scrapbook paper, which is a lot more travel related. As you can see all the different things. This came from Joanne's because it's Park Lane. It's really cute, but obviously it doesn't fit the whole page. So I just cut it like this to kind of give it a little pizzazz. And this is kind of like my header page for what comes next, which obviously is my travel log. <laughs> so what I wanted to do was keep track of all of my trips. This was hard, <laughs> um, especially like pre-social media when I took trips. I didn't really have the dates and stuff um, to memory. So it was funny me trying to figure out when I went. Um, so I wanted to divide it up, international trips, cruises, and then I have stateside trips just because it's different things. All the international and stateside, the um, table headers are the same. I created this myself in Word and then again I printed it on um, 32 pound blank paper and then just cut it to size. For this one, I did tape to the back of this so that when we flip, it automatically goes to there and it's a two page spread. Right now, because my international trips are limited to one page, I went from international to cruises, but I do have some international pages ready to go and I'll just move that out. That's, that's the advantage of disc. I can just rip this out and put it here. So for my trips, what I wanted to really capture was like the location, the dates traveled, and then notes which is pretty much maybe purpose of the trip, who I traveled with, just things like that. And then cruises, what I wanted to capture was the dates traveled, the ports, and of course the ship I took. So I did all that. And then these, I was being a little <laughs> ambitious. And then I color coded based on the region that I was traveling to. So like for cruises, it's a little bit easier. So like I have like for the Caribbean, I have in this color blue and then Mexico, I have in this blue green, Central America, it's more of the purple. And then Europe I did with that greenish color. And then same thing kind of over here. And like the difference between the international trips is these are land trips that were actually flew to those destinations and stayed for a longer period of time. So that's why I definitely wanted to separate them because a lot of times on cruises, even though like I've been to, like I went to Cuba on a cruise, I was there for like three to four hours. So I didn't really get to experience as much as I would want to. And then stateside trips, um, I kind of just focused on places that I stayed for like a long period of time, more of like a vacation to that destination versus more like stop throughs. Like I live in Virginia, so I've pretty much been <laughs> to a lot of states up and down the East Coast. But some states, um, it's been more like stopping on the way to somewhere else, even if it was an overnight stop. Um, I really didn't kind of stay there as vacation, so I didn't include all of those. So here's some of the state side and I did add some stickers to decorate it up, but this is definitely more memory keeping and things like that. And now we're coming to something that I really, really like. All right. So again, I taped this page to this because I wanted a two page spread. This was clip art that I got on the internet. And I did make it a little bit bigger, so it is a little blurry, so it's not as crisp as I would have liked. But it served the purpose because it was very hard to find, like, one that had the defined countries as easy um, in it. And because what I wanted to do, because in this Happy Planner travel book, they have these little pins where you can mark like where you've been. Let's see if I can find them. I think I might have pulled them out, so I don't even know where they are. But they were definitely in this book. So I just put like little pins in all the countries that I've been to thus far. I think it's cute. It pretty much corresponds with this information, <laughs> but I thought it was cute. And I'm not doing US here because I'm doing the US here. <laughs> so I just decided I didn't want to run out of pins. So I decided to do stars because um, you should always be able to find <laughs> gold floral stars in some happy planner book. So I put that here. And again, this map came from this book. It was a bigger version of these and I just cut it out because I didn't want the oval. So there we go. And then 
I use stickers from there and then from the Getaway Vibes mini book. So those are the ones that I've used thus far in those. Here is another dashboard that I purchased from Etsy. It was a different seller again. What I do is I just purchase the graphic. They're like less than $2. So I like purchase it. And this I decided to make a divider with. So I did it the same exact way as I did with the um, scrapbook paper. I just got a divider that had the tab here, traced it, and then cut it out. So like I said, this is on cardstock. I just thought it was cute. It says going where I've never been. And then that leads us to future plans. So I felt like that was a very good <laughs> kind of transition to my future plans page. And again, I used the same little Park Lane world maps. What is this? Six by eight scrapbook paper. I thought this was adorable, but the way it all lined up, I had to do my future plans this way. Again, I cut, I created this myself just in Word and then printed it on clear sticker paper and just kiss cut it with scissors. And this is my travel bucket list. So I got this idea from this book, which was Travel Basics by Kell of a Plan. Um, I, this is my first Kell of a Plan book and I had to have it as soon as I saw that it was being released. So I used that because this, well, the travel bucket list, that is hers, and then all these dream trip dates. And then what I used to kind of jazz it up <laughs> was the Wrong Wrong Happy Planner collaboration going places. I love this book. So what I did was I kind of found, well, this is from Jungle Vibes book from Happy Planner because they had a cute like girl like this one, but that's more jungle and Africa. I've, I've been to a lot of places in South America and I felt like that was more South America than Africa. So that's why I pulled this from the Jungle Vibes Happy Planner book. But all of these, this one, this one, this one, and this one came from the Going Places book. And I thought they kind of went well with my trips that I want to go on. And there was nothing for Japan, but luckily I found the little country. She had some like little countries on her bucket list page. So I just put that there for Japan. And then I just added some random stickers to kind of jazz it up. But these are, this is my travel bucket list. I don't have any of these planned, but I would like to. <laughs> And then we come to my travel planners. So, and I have, I'll just go ahead and say, so I have 23, 24, 25, and 26. <laughs> because when you start planning big trips, sometimes you're not always planning them for the current year, although I am. I am a little behind. Um, I have no trips planned for 24 or 25, and I'm still in the process of planning trips for 2023. I have one trip booked. And I'm in the process of planning maybe a second and possibly a third trip. Um, I might be planning another cruise to Alaska for the end of summer. And I really i am thinking about possibly going to Europe, um, trying, you know, visiting the UK. But with flight prices, that might be a 2024 trip. So we'll see. So I only have one book, so that's why I wrote that down. And I'll just add more. I don't think I'll have more than four big trips this year. We'll see, but if not, I can just add other ones. And these decorative stickers, again, came from the Going Places book. And these boxes came from Kell of a Plan as well as that. So I just thought this was cute. And like I said, I felt like when you future plan, you future plan for years down the road. So that's why I did a 2024 one, as well as a 2025 and a 2026. Now, may these be more boxes than trips? Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, if I don't fill them all up, I can just add stickers or cute quotes. So, what have you. <laughs> and that is it. That is what I have thus far. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit about what I plan on doing. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of my quote-unquote travel planning, probably more in my catch-all, just because it's something that I need to have in front of me every day. So like Kell of a Plan has some really cute stickers in here about like current travel planning, like purchase tickets, 
things like like to do's and stuff like that that is probably going to go in my catch-all because that's things that are more time sensitive that i need to follow this is more fun memory keeping future planning kind of wish list type stuff so i'm going to be using this like i said probably in collaboration with my catch-all but what i am going to do so right now i just have this i know people call these dashboards too um, I thought this was cute. It says lost in a daydream. And I think I have another one that says dream. Just thought they were cute. And these dividers are, are here just for placeholders for the moment. I will be creating another divider, probably like this, that will go here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a divider for each trip that I go on. So when I go on my cruise in March, I'll create a new divider. And it will likely be one that I create myself and not purchase off of Etsy because I'm going to make it kind of specific for that trip. So what I might do for the divider is write the trip that I go on. And I may even like put a few pictures on the actual divider. And then I'm going to use just regular Happy Planner, Happy Notes pages. I have this one and this one already in here just because they were like the least decorative of the ones I have. A lot of the ones I have are like bright or have like decor everywhere already so i'm going to use this and like for my cruise i mean i'm not going to like limit myself to the lines i still might do decorative boxes i might write boxes and then i'm just going to like highlight my trip and what i will do is when i get back from my cruise i'll do a plan with me where i can show you how i'm going to set that up so look for that probably in the probably toward the end of march because um, my trip is beginning to middle of march so that would be more toward the end of March. Guys, <laughs> that was a lot. That was a lot of me talking. Um, <laughs> I hope my voice does not annoy you too much. Um, but I really just wanted to show you how I set this up. I, I had all so much fun creating this. And like I said, I did this for travel because it's something that I've always wanted to do. But if you're a crafter or have some kind of other passion, this is something else that you can do. I mean, you can create logs for anything. And I think logs are a great thing because I will tell you, especially for the state side, I don't know if you can see it, but see, I use these um, friction, these pilot friction erasable pens, and you can still see where I've erased it because I cannot remember a lot of the stateside trips. I think unless it was like a huge recent trip, some of them I forget. And you're like, oh, wow, I did go there. I mean, like I got all out of order, like Philadelphia was 0708 and it's all the way down here where in theory it should have been up there. So there's just... <laughs> like you forget stuff. So I think it's neat to write all this stuff down. Um, especially because we no longer live in a day and age where we like print photos and stuff as much. And I felt like when we printed photos, we would always go to like Walmart and get like all your photos printed from the camera <laughs> and you would put them in photo albums so you could easily remember the date, especially in the old film cameras where the, the date printed on the actual, um, photo either on the back or it was like written in the bottom corner from the camera um so it was just you know you could remember things but I feel like in the digital age unless you post them on social media sometimes you forget it so again that's kind of why I wanted to create this um hopefully this inspired you um I hope so if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those down in the um comment section below I do try to respond as fast as possible um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you are already subscribed, I want to give you a big thank you. I really do appreciate it. Um, it really is helping my channel grow. Um, that's all I have. Um, like I said, I will be doing some more plan with me's for this after all my trips. I think that will be fun to show you how I'm going to set that up. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.